WKYT News starts now with First Alert Weather. All right, you're going to need that umbrella if you are headed hmm. out. We have showers and a few storms moving across our area. We begin with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey, who's tracking it all this afternoon. Hi, Chris. Hi, guys. Uh, right on cue this afternoon. Rain arriving, gusty winds, and now some thunder and lightning trying to get into the mix as well with our cold front that is just off to our west. Here's the front. You can see that band of some thunderstorms now beginning to pop west of Louisville. That'll get into town over the next two or three hours. Most of central and eastern Kentucky, though, covered by all kinds of heavier rains out there. We take you into southern Kentucky, Lake Cumberland area, about to break out into at least a partly cloudy sky. Heavier rains across Pulaski County, Mount Vernon, Rockcastle County. Eastbound we go across the Hal Rogers Parkway, Mountain Parkway, 64 East. Bound we go spring or the uh, Mount Sterling area through Owingsville and Moorhead, then north into Fleming County, Nicholas County, Lexington Metro. Yep, you know the drill. It is raining out there and it's coming down at a pretty good clip. Here's a little break in the action until that line of thunderstorms uh, kind of rips its way on through the area with gusty winds that can still approach 40 miles an hour. That is ahead of a cold front that has chilly air and some low clouds coming behind it for the day on Friday. I'll come back in a few minutes and we will focus on that next little line of some thunderstorms. Guys, let you know what that brings to the forecast for the evening. And of course, we have to look ahead to the all important Easter weekend forecast. A new hour by hour will break down the weekend. Thank you, Chris. Well, the gusty winds caused some problems this afternoon at a church in Berea. Church on the Rock on US 25 is planning an outdoor display for Easter weekend. The winds knocked over several wooden sets this afternoon, scattering them across the church's parking lot. WKYT's Monique Blair is live for us in Madison County with our top story at 5. Monique? Well, Amber and Sam, I can tell you it is still very windy out here in Berea right now. The Church on the Rock here has been preparing for this event for several months now, but around 2 o'clock today, large wind gusts took down two structures here, so tonight's event has been canceled. The Church on the Rock here is well known for the live drive through production they put on every Christmas, known as Journey to Bethlehem. For the first time, the church is putting on an Easter production called Journey to the Cross, but they had to cancel the first night of the event, which was tonight, because two of their structures were damaged by wind, and they feel it is also safer for the more than 200 volunteers and several animals animals that participate in the live scenes. Now the live drive through production, which is called Journey to the Cross, is still on for tomorrow night and Saturday night, both nights from 7.30 to 9.30. And it is also free and open to the public. For now, I'm reporting live in Berea, Monique Blair, WKYT. The pastor of the church says roughly 10,000 people attend that event that is held each year at Christmas. Two days after the attacks in Brussels, police are still looking for two suspects who might still be on the loose. As that search continues, we are learning more about the bombers' plans and other potential targets. Kenneth Craig has the latest from Brussels. These are two of the most wanted men in Europe. The man on the left was last seen at Brussels Airport Tuesday with suicide bombers Najim Lashraoui and Ibrahim El Bakrawi. The man on the right was spotted at the Brussels metro station along with another suicide bomber, Khalid El Bakrawi. CBS News has confirmed both Bakrawi brothers may have been linked to a plot earlier this year to target a Belgian nuclear power plant and that the Brussels attacks had been planned for next Monday. But the date was moved up after police in Brussels arrested Paris terror suspect Salah Abdeslam last week. Right when I turned the corner, I heard the first explosion. Sebastian Bellin is a survivor. He was at the airport and remembers falling after the first bomb went off. I look down and, you know, I see like massive bones just sticking out. And then uh, I hear the second explosion. And now that I'm starting to think about it over and over, I think that's really what saved me because I was already on the ground when the explosion, the second one went off. Two Belgian officials tried to resign Thursday over intelligence failures leading up to the attacks, but many here aren't pointing fingers. I think it's much bigger than what I think and what people see on the media. But critics say it's the entire European Union that needs to step up the fight against terrorism. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Brussels, Belgium. European Union Justice and Interior Ministers met in an emergency session in Brussels today to discuss those attacks. 
STILL NO SIGN OF A LEXINGTON NATIVE AND HER HUSBAND MISSING AFTER THE ATTACKS. STEPHANIE AND JUSTIN SCHULTZ WERE IN THE BRUSSELS AIRPORT WHEN THE BOMBS THERE WENT OFF. YESTERDAY, THEIR FAMILIES SAY THEY RECEIVED FALSE INFORMATION THAT THE COUPLE HAD BEEN FOUND IN A HOSPITAL. JUSTIN'S MOTHER IS HEADED TO BRUSSELS TODAY TO HELP WITH THE SEARCH. YOU DON'T REALLY KNOW HOW TO EXPLAIN OR DESCRIBE A SITUATION UNTIL YOU GO THROUGH IT. YOU KNOW, WE'VE HAD SO MANY PEOPLE SEND OUT PRAYERS AND WELL WISHES AND, YOU KNOW, they can positive thoughts and stuff for us and you know we appreciate all of that and you know it's just kind of what's held everything together the u.s has expedited shell's passport to get her to belgium quickly the couple had just dropped off stephanie's mother at the airport so she could return home to lexington when the bombs went off she's okay and remains in brussels to search for them as well the attacks have many people reconsidering plans to travel abroad. The State Department issued a travel warning for Europe after Tuesday's bombings. If you want to cancel a trip, you might be able to get your money if you bought travel insurance. The answer depends on the type of insurance that you bought. Travel insurance will allow you to cancel for any reason up until the date. Um, but for, for travel providers in the general sense, it it's varies greatly. We have a link to the current list of travel alerts. Just look for the Some Groups Reconsider Travel Abroad story on WKYT.com. Police have identified two people involved in a deadly crash. State police say it appears a car blew out a tire on westbound I-64 in Bath County this morning. The car was stopped in the left lane when a semi ran into it. The driver, 33-year-old Michael Beatty of Lexington, died. A passenger, 31-year-old Mitchell Taylor, also of Lexington, is in critical condition at UK Hospital. Interstate 64 westbound was closed for several hours while police investigated and cleared that scene. In our county by county coverage here at 5, visitation began this afternoon for a murdered Jespin County native and her two children. Police say that Brad Hettinger shot and killed his wife, Billy, and their children before turning the gun on himself last weekend. Their bodies were found after a fire at their Louisville home. The visitation goes until 8 tonight at Betts and West Funeral Home in Nicholasville. Their funeral will be tomorrow morning also at the funeral home. In Bourbon County, deputies arrested three people in a police chase. Kurt Antrobus, Joseph Rochetti, and Jared Wood are all charged with wanton endangerment. The Bourbon County Sheriff's Office says they admitted to firing a gun while driving with no intended targets. Deputies and Paris police chased them to Georgetown, where Georgetown police also helped stop them. Clark County is the latest Kentucky community to approve a needle exchange program. The fiscal court approved it with a 4-2 to two vote yesterday. And the Winchester Sun reports the program should be in place by the beginning of summer. It is a historic day in Lexington. This morning, the city introduced its first female fire chief. Kristen Chilton is taking over the top spot in the Lexington Fire Department immediately. She's been with the department for 23 years. The city's first female firefighter and paramedic inspired Chilton to join the department, and she hopes more women will follow. My daughter's eight years old, and she can look at me, and she knows that is now an attainable goal for her if she wants to be a firefighter. Um, and, and part of it's just being a role model for young women and that know that if they want to do this job, they can. Right now, the city has 562 firefighters. Only 14 are women. Chilton's husband, Richard Jordan, shares her passion for firefighting. He's a retired assistant chief with Lexington Fire. UK women's basketball team continues their quest for a final four spot. Tomorrow night, we have a preview of their Sweet 16 matchup with Washington a little later. If you walk down the aisle in 2015, the way you file your taxes will be a little different this year. What newlyweds need to know in better living. Did your family set a goal to become healthier in the new year? One family did and lost 300 pounds at Ageless. Bruce lost 92 pounds, Adam lost 64 pounds, and Catherine lost 151 pounds. For a medically supervised affordable weight loss solution, call Ageless today for a free consultation. Honda believes that your garage is what you make it. Looking good, Suzanne. So make it great with amazing deals on many Honda products, including the restyled Honda Accord. It's been on Car and Driver's 10 Best List a record 30 times and comes with a standard multi-angle rear view camera. The Honda Dream Garage sales event is happening now. Let's go. You got a garage to fill. Celebrate spring with a great deal on a restyled Accord. Now at your Honda dealer.
Ah, uh, the joys of carry-out pizza places. It's never ready when they say it'll be. And if you just want a slice or two, good luck on that. So why wait at one of those pizza carry-out places when fresh pizzeria-style pizzas, whole or by the slice, are yours in just minutes at Speedway? A rich, buttery crust, real mozzarella cheese and fresh pepperoni, all ready for you at Speedway. Why wait at a carry-out place when Speedway's got fresh hot pizza in just minutes? The convenience stores of Speedway. Now, buy one slice of pizza at Speedway and get your second slice free. Want to fill your garage with the best value brand in America that costs less than a competition? Honda's got it. During Honda's Dream Garage Sales Event, redesigned 2016 Civics, the number one selling compact car, just $179 a month. Or drive with zero down, zero security, and zero first month's payment. Civics with available Honda Lane Watch, Brake Assist, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and more, just $179 a month or zero due at signing. Honda's got it at your Central Kentucky Honda dealers. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. Folks have been taking this short drive to satisfaction for over 20 years. Not only Winchester folks, but folks all across the state and even across the country. And who wouldn't come here with over 2,500 vehicles to choose from here in Winchester, Kentucky? No matter if it's 100 miles or the short drive from Lexington, our staff will help you start your journey. Tim Short Chevrolet. Get WKYT news and weather updates on Wild 1039. Now, your hour by hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. It is a wet and a windy afternoon. Now, early evening across much of central and eastern Kentucky. Cold front slamming into the region as we speak. Has one more little broken band of some thunderstorms we'll track in just a moment. Let's get into it and show you the overall setup. Remember that big storm we were talking about yesterday that was producing a blizzard back into parts of the Denver area? Well, it produced a blizzard all the way into Wisconsin. Heavy snow there, but it's that same system that has this big push of wind and warm air out ahead of it that's producing showers and thunderstorms across central and eastern Kentucky. Jenkins, far southeastern Kentucky, not a drop of rain as of yet. Look at the rest of the area. Jackson, wet. Corbin, Lexington, Florence, Frankfurt, into Louisville and E-Town. We've had a lot of rain over the past couple of hours, and it's knocked the temperatures down. You can see the area is getting in on the heaviest rains right now with upper 50s to around 60. Temperatures recovering just a bit to our west. That's important because the front is still to our west. 72 right now into Ashland, where the rains are just now getting into the northeastern part of the state. Heavy rain in the eastern half of Kentucky. Here's that break. Here's a little band of some strong thunderstorms. They can produce some local wind damage as it races toward the east. First things first, it's the soggy weather that is out there now. Mountain Parkway corridor, 64 eastbound. Hal Rogers, how about 119? Uh, 25. Every road we can name across southern and southeastern Kentucky getting in on a lot of heavy rain. That gorgeous drive along 27 is a soaker as of now. Madison County, Berea, into Richmond, Winchester, Nicholasville, Lexington. Yes, it's raining. You may be able to hear it through my microphone here at the station. It's coming down at a good clip. You can see the lawns growing right in front of your eyes. Little recovery in those temperatures to our west, just ahead of this line of thunderstorms. It's very narrow. But in a setup like this, if we can get a peak or two of sun out ahead of that, especially for areas just to the west of Lexington, we may be talking about some local wind damage. Wouldn't be surprised if we don't pop a warning with that line as it races to the east over the next couple of hours. Look what else races to the east into the next 24 hours. It's colder weather tomorrow, upper 40s to around 50. Second half of the day, we have a chance of seeing the sun. Farther east you go, it may be more in the way of clouds for the better part of the day. First things first, that's your evening. That line of showers and storms will race into eastern Kentucky through 11 o'clock. Look at tomorrow morning. Every run of the hour by hour, which, by the way, updates every hour, shows colder conditions tomorrow morning into central Kentucky. 
The last model had Lexington down to 36 degrees. The new one is in. Look at that, 33 in the morning. Low clouds, you may see a passing snow flurry tomorrow morning. Now, the same model says, let's get the clouds out of here. Right afternoon. So by 4 o'clock, sunshine, upper 40s to low 50s. Tomorrow's one of those days. You keep the clouds, you're in the mid 40s. Keep the sun, you'll hit the low 50s into tomorrow afternoon. It's Friday, and at this point, who cares, right? We go into that Easter holiday weekend on Saturday morning. Readings down into the 30s. Could be a little kiss frost in the morning. Mid and upper 60s likely on Saturday afternoon ahead of your Easter Sunday. Speaking of ahead of your Easter Sunday, we've got a lot of winds that are out there as well across the entire area. Notice how those winds, though, tomorrow begin to calm down. We go toward Easter Sunday. Here's your breakdown. Sunrise service on Easter morning. We're into the upper 40s to around 50. It's a breezy start to your day. A warm Easter Sunday near 70. Sun and clouds late afternoon into the evening. There's a chance for a shower or thunderstorm. So for those Easter egg hunts on Sunday, Let's try to get those done into the early part of the afternoon instead of holding off until the evening. Because by the evening, you'll have at least a much better chance for a shower or thunderstorm compared to the first half of the day. It's windy on Monday. Then we rebound toward the 70s as we close the month on an incredibly warm month of March by Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Week one of April is going to look a whole lot different, guys. And you're going to hear me talking a lot about that over the next few weeks with a lot of cold air. We've got to pay you the price at some point. Always interesting. It, it is. One more round of storms to go through this evening. Could have some gusty winds. We'll watch it. All right, Chris. Thank you. Very significant slowdowns right now. Um, on our wide view, we can see it's heavy on the inner and outer loops of the circle. Anywhere from Leestown to Newtown Pike. Also, outbound Newtown, uh, pretty slow too, about a 20 minute delay at times uh, for Newtown Pike itself. There's a collision in the Hamburg area. Uh, this is an injury crash. It's on Sir Barton, just down from Man of War. Drive time, a little slower this afternoon getting home out toward Nicholasville. Also, seeing uh, delays toward Paris Pike and Paris. And then uh, so far to Scott County on 75. It looks okay, a northbound past Ironworks. Now back to the studio. Thank you, Don. The UK women playing in the NCAA Sweet 16 tomorrow night. What the mayor of Lexington is doing to show the city's support for the team ahead. And then scammers are using the name of Kentucky Utilities to try and steal your hard earned money. We'll show you what to watch out for on WKYT News at 5 30. We got a problem. We're losing a generation. It's spreading over county lines like an epidemic, and coroners are preparing for the worst. I actually uh, was checking into getting more body bags. Overdoses, a county line in crisis. Tonight at 6 on WKYT. This time of year, everyone in the Lexington area is excited because they know it's time for the Burke Furniture March Markdown Madness Sale. Slam dunk huge savings up to 60% off in every department. A beautiful home begins at Burke's. Buick? So are you? Using the built-in Wi-Fi in Tina's new Buick. My grandpa used to drive a Buick. It doesn't look like a Buick. No kidding. Okay, who wants smoothies? That's not your grandpa. Hey! Now current lessees. Switch to Buick and get this low mileage lease on this 2016 Encore for around $199 per month. Visit your Bluegrass Buick dealer today. What if it's my time? How would Julie and the kids get by? Would they be able to stay in the house? And why don't I have life insurance? It's not too late to get life insurance. Don't wait till it is. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Make time this spring to escape to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina where the only thing you'll want to do is have fun in the sun. Let the sound of the ocean's tide take all your cares away and leave you refreshed to experience something new. It's your moment to let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach Time. Let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach Time. This winter, give snow and ice a swift kick to the curb in a Dodge with all-wheel drive.
Now, returning FCA US lessees can finance and get 5,500 total cash allowance on the purchase of a 2016 Dodge Journey. This time of year, everyone in the Lexington area is excited because they know it's time for the Burke Furniture March Markdown Madness Sale. Slam dunk huge savings up to 60% off in every department. A beautiful home begins at Burke's. Kentucky mornings start here. Breaking and overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 430 to 7 on WKYT. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. Vice President Joe Biden is urging the Senate to take action on Supreme Court nominee Merrick Garland. In a speech at Georgetown Law School, Vice President Biden said that President Obama did his job and now it's the Senate's turn to do its part. He also defended remarks he made in 1992 that Republicans have been using to make their case for not acting on the nomination. They completely ignore the fact that at the time I was speaking of the dangers of nominating an extreme candidate without proper Senate consultation. The Senate has said it will not act on a Supreme Court nominee until after the presidential election. Unemployment rates rose in most Kentucky counties last month. 114 counties saw their rate jump from February of 2015 to February of 2016. The rate fell in four counties and stayed the same in two. McGoffin County had the highest rate, while Woodford had the lowest. The UK women's basketball team will continue their quest for a trip to the Final Four tomorrow night. Pretty exciting. They play a Sweet 16 game against Washington right here in Lexington at Rupp Arena. WKYT's Christy Thomas is here with a preview. The Cats are in their fifth Sweet 16 in the last seven years, and for the very first time, the road to the Final Four stays right here in Lexington. And while that should be a huge advantage for Kentucky, Matthew Mitchell says just being in Rupp won't get it done. I would love to go to a Final Four. That's been a, a goal of our program and a, a dream of all of ours, and we believe we're going to do it one day, and we hope it's this year. But um, it won't be because um, the Rupp Arena floor jumps up and uh, makes any baskets or, uh, you know, has the, 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 the building won't get it done for us. The players will. I expect it to be electrifying. You know, it's a Friday night, 7 p.m. tip. What else could people in Lexington possibly be doing? So uh, I'm encouraging everybody to come out. You know, it's a home court for us. Um, even though the court doesn't really mean the team will win or not, but um, I'm encouraging everybody to come out, and I'm sure it'll be fun. In their second round game against Oklahoma, Michaela Epps suffered a sprained AC joint in her shooting shoulder. There's been a lot of question about whether or not she would be ready to go. We'll fill you in and update you on her status coming up in sports at 5:30 in Lexington. Christy Thomas, WKYT. Thank you, Christy. And Lexington Mayor Jim Gray has proclaimed this weekend as Blue and White Weekend. The proclamation urges Big Blue fans to show support for the women's team by wearing blue and white tomorrow. Coach Matthew Mitchell says he's honored to receive the proclamation. So I'm excited for these uh, three great universities that are joining us, University of Washington, uh, Stanford University, and Notre Dame University. We hope that they have a wonderful time this weekend uh, out and about in our city. We hope they have a real hard time on the basketball court. The U.K. women face the Washington Huskies in the Sweet 16 tomorrow night. If you can't make it to Rupp, you can watch the game at 7 o'clock on ESPN2. More than two dozen forest fires in Kentucky today. We'll show you the effort to try and stop those on WKYT News at 530. What newlyweds need to know before filing their taxes and why your cat might be making you angry. Those stories next in Better Living. Have something that needs investigating? Email us or call the WKYT Investigates tip line. How do we put our buying power to work for you? With Power Buy, Power Financing, Power Upgrades, Power Coupons, Free TVs, and more. Hurry, because our Power Sellathon ends Tuesday. Nobody beats Heroes. 
It's the final days of Toyota's number one for everyone sales event at Kentucky's number one Toyota dealer, Green's Toyota of Lexington. Save up to $5,000 off MSRP on new Toyotas with our Green Saver coupon. Special APR offers available, including 0% APR on our most popular models. And get up to $2,000 customer cash on 13 different models. Hurry in now during the final days of Toyota's number one for everyone sales event at Green's Toyota. Great people, great cars. These creamery shakes are so rich and creamy. I know. Finally, a shake for an aficionado like myself. Wait, you're a shake aficionado? Not a shake aficionado. The shake aficionado. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Well, perhaps you could be one, too. Go oh. ahead. Mm. It's a coolness. Cold. It's cold. OK. Ice cream is cold. Stop the presses, guys. Ice cream is cold, says Pete. Print it. New slow-turned creamery shakes are here in premium flavors like bourbon brown sugar. And all shakes are half price after 8 PM. This is how you Sonic. At Frankfurt Toyota, we have new 2016 Corollas, up to $2,200 off MSRP or 0% financing available. Or new 2016 RAV4s, up to $2,200 off MSRP or take advantage of 0% financing. And we'll double your no-cost maintenance to four years or 50,000 miles. Frankfurt Toyota, Google rated 4.9 out of 5 stars. Frankfurt Toyota, or check us out online at frankfurttoyota.com. Shouldn't you have a checking account that makes your life easier? Introducing Easy Checking from Republic Bank. Relax with no minimum balance or monthly maintenance fee. Use our free mobile app to easily send money with mobile pop money. You can even log into our app with a scan of your fingerprint or eye using iPrint ID. Easy checking for your hard-earned money. We're Republic Bank, and it's just easier here. The all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is changing the automotive industry in Central Kentucky forever. Introducing Lifetime Warranty. It doesn't end after 10 years. It doesn't end after 100,000 miles. And it's available at no extra cost. 100% parts. 100% labor. Zero deductible forever. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. Shop the area's largest selection of quality vehicles, all with a lifetime powertrain warranty. Only at the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. Want to make great meals easy? Then you'll want to come to our Kitchen Makeover event. Look at all you get in this Amana Stainless Steel Package, now just $19.99. Plus up to three years zero interest and with select packages of free 50-inch TV. Nobody beats P-Rats. It is time now for better living, health, education, and consumer news that impacts your life. If you tied the knot last year, there will be some changes to the way you file your taxes this year. Mary Maloney shows us what newlyweds need to know. Yeah. It's so exciting to be a newlywed, but one of the least romantic changes, filing taxes. If the wedding was in January, June, or on December 31st, the IRS considers you married for the entire year. Tax practitioner Isaac McRae says couples should research how to file, especially if spouses don't make the same amount of money. In some cases, you may have a high-income spouse and a low-income spouse. It's be more beneficial for you to file jointly because you'll be able to absorb the higher spouse's income at a lower tax rate. But if you or your partner has past tax debt or a default on federal student loans, you may want to file separately. When you file jointly, whatever is on that tax return becomes your problem, yes. However, any past tax issues are not your problem once you file jointly. Anything that the individual did prior to you becoming married and filing jointly are their own separate issues. Those issues could cut into a joint refund if you are entitled to one. Better consult a tax professional for the best option for you and your spouse in your new life together. For Consumer Watch, I'm Mary Maloney. A parasite spread by cats might be responsible for angry outbursts in humans. The parasite known as Toxoplasma gondii may play a role in impulsive aggression. People can contract it from cleaning cat litter. Researchers found people who tested positive for intermittent explosive disorder were more than twice as likely to test positive for the parasite. Study authors say the findings suggest those people experience brain changes that increase the risk of aggressive behavior. When you're born might determine your risk for developing allergies. Researchers found people born in the fall had an increased risk for eczema compared to those born in spring. People born in winter had increased asthma risk compared to those born in fall. Study authors say more research is needed and they advise couples not to base pregnancy timing on the findings. Now, here's what's coming up for you at 530.